Hi there, my name is Dr. Scott Melidio, and in this short under five minute video, I'm going to cover two ways we know how many electrons will be gained or lost when forming an ion. They are the octet rule and a trend in the periodic table when talking about main group elements. The octet rule states that all elements want to have a full octet, which means eight electrons in their outermost shell. Please be aware that there are going to be exceptions to this rule. For example, lithium and beryllium, when losing one electron and two electrons respectively, will end up with two electrons in their outermost shell. The periodic table trend to be aware of is when looking at elements in group 1A, 2A, aluminum, and the nonmetals in groups 5A, 6A, and 7A. For the metals in group 1A, they will always lose one electron, resulting in a plus one positive charge. The elements in group 2A will always lose two electrons and have a positive two charge. Aluminum will always lose three electrons and have a positive three charge. Nitrogen and phosphorus will gain three electrons resulting in a negative three charge. Oxygen and sulfur will gain two electrons resulting in a negative two charge. Group 7A elements will gain one electron, resulting in a negative charge of one. The elements that are shown in the middle of the table are our transition metals. The majority of transition metals can have multiple charges on them. If you feel good after watching this video, please see the next one where we'll talk about writing the formula for an ionic compound.